All right, yo, what's going on, boys? Asian Station here, back with another video, and today is episode two of Play Until We Lose. Last episode was an hour long, and we didn't lose. So we're continuing into this hour, so it will be good. There may be a part three, depending on how the video ends. Just have to wait and find out. But yeah, we're doing some BB calls and boosts only. Play until we lose. Hope you guys enjoy. Remember, drop a like, below, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. All right, there we go. Oh shoot! All right, boys, this is our biggest matchup of the day. JK, second biggest matchup of the day. Actually, no, for the day of... I mean, for this video, best matchup, yeah. Asian Ambition, the Canadian himself. Wizards Keep, I don't like this map, dude. I hate it. It's so annoying to play. All right, Area 52. What do we go here, folks? Do I dare rock the heli? Or do I play aggro, whiz farm, tack? I don't play this map very often, man. I'm trying to think. Or Wiz Farm Village. No. Heli Farm Ice, boys. This is an in this is a big game for us. If he goes Cobra, this could be very tough to win. Just want to point that out. Here we go, boys. We're going Heli Farm Ice. I still don't really know the path that well. AI goes around this big thingy. Send path goes around this twice, right? I don't know, dude. Something like that. Is he farming or is he cobring? Is he cobring? He's farming, okay. He's not. Never mind! Is he ecoing? He's ecoing. What the heck? Very interesting. Well, we're gonna go for our heli. Alright. I was not expecting that. It really wasn't. Wait, did I upgrade my farm? Oh my gosh. Was that not the move? Oh no, we're fine. We're fine, lads. Actually, yeah, I should have uh, not upgraded because now it's gonna be strong. Okay. Pop them balloons, boys. We've already leaked 50 lives. Holy. There you go for nice. This is horrible. I'm actually about to die around three. Okay. Well, now we just anti stall. We have to make these rounds fly by. Whatever strat is going, though, we can beat late game. We can beat it late game. We just got to make sure we don't die to AI here, pretty much. Just get this thing going. Save up for our plantation. Yeah, my ice spot's actually terrible. That's actually a terrible ice spot. I really don't play this map very often. Kind of choking. I need to practice this map because I... Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. We need to practice this map. I've also already leaked 73 lives. Don't really like that. Let's get the perm frost going. There we go. Make everything a little slower. We're not leaking anymore, and I don't think round six will be any different. At least I hope not. I could go for a double ice. Now, the ice move would have been like over here, but it is what it is. Honestly, didn't realize we had enough for a farm right there. Okay, let's get another ice flowing. Okay. I haven't sent him anything, but I don't really need to. Because these rounds are going by kind of fast, I feel like, anyways. We shouldn't leak to any of this. We literally shouldn't le leak to any of this. My ice will take care of all the scent path, and my AI the AI is kind of getting shredded as well. Okay. We haven't leaked in a minute, I don't think. Let's keep this going. If he sends whites, could cause some panic, but... Okay, sending whites. I am going to need to get up a quad darts then. Right here, we're leaking. Stop leaking, man. We should be fine against those yellows. I'm going to farm on. Okay, we just have to keep an eye on our live count, bro. This is not good. It's not good. I, he's got to have village glue, right? So if I just take this late, we're chilling. We're winning if I take this late. Yep, there's glue. Easy reads. Okay. He's not going to rush me anytime soon. Three plantations. There's the village. Okay. If we just take this late, we should win. So this is going to be a late game video as long as I don't die like round 13 or something. Okay. We're going to need to get up our rotors. Come on. Give me money. There we go. All right. I'll actually keep this right here. 
So he hasn't ecoed in a while. He's playing pretty passive. I mean, I could have went for a decent rush, rush right there. I haven't really sent him anything. I'm just playing this the passive way. Passive station right here, fellas. Nothing's getting by this. There's no way. There's no way anything's getting past this, man. Let's go. Let's win this. Why are we leaking? I don't like that. Okay. Um, I need deep freeze. I think that's what it is. I need a deep freeze. Okay. Well, we're going to... Our eco's... We've gotten three eco this game. <laughs> My strat is going to... This is fine, though. This is fine with our strat. We got to go for BIA round... 16. We'll go for it. I'm going to get ready, though, for... Round 16 balloons. We're going to send him a little bit. I'll get some eco. Okay. He's playing this weird. Like, that shouldn't kill us. Yeah, we're fine. I just want to go for my farm, but I, like, can't. Okay, we got it. It's because the heli targeting I was worried about. We got that off in time. Let's go. Let's go. Things just got a lot easier now that we have that up. So, I'm feeling good. We'll go for another BIA here shortly. Not shortly. Eventually. Now, I'm actually going to get this plantation up because... Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. If we're gonna have it for like 15 rounds, it's gonna be worth it to have the plantation because it fills up two rounds quicker as opposed to the uh, one four. So if you know it, long term, it's worth it. So one of my subs informed me of this. Very useful information. I'm just nervous with our live count, dude. I just, ugh, I'm tweaking about it. He's sending space eco, like I'm gonna rush him any second now, but I'm not. I'm gonna go for a second rotors, maybe. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, not a worry in the world, except for BFBs, but I'd be very surprised if he sent a BFB. Then again, he's space ecoing like crazy, so he might. You shouldn't as an eco player, but I won't be surprised. Okay, once our BIA is about 12K, we'll cash her out. We go to even 600. I feel like we were just at 253 eco, and now we're already at six. That's awesome. Okay. Do I get up another icy? Nah. Nah, bro. If anything, I'll get up another rotors or heli. We'll get that up. See, like, AI is pushing. AI is pushing. You got to be careful here. Follow that all the way through. Okay. Boost, 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 boost. Oh my god. It's fine though. I shouldn't need more than... I shouldn't need all three boosts. Uh, I still didn't like boosting there though. Okay, he has his monkey town up. Do I start to get my... Oh, that's already at 13k? Okay. Well, round 22 AI is going to be tough. So, we're going to need to get up another rotors. Cash this out here in a sec. Come on, end the round. Thank you. Cash that out. Whoops. Can we defend? That'd be awesome. I think that's defending. I'm getting this up. I don't know if that was defending. I really don't. 20%. Move! Move down there. Oh my gosh. Toy sets costing me. You know I'm OCD about that farm placement too. Okay, I just need to get up a freaking... There we go. Now we're chilling. Okay, that was way too frustrating. I was like on edge that whole freaking first eight minutes of this game. About my live count. Alright. Here we go. Now, he's going to get a high eco, but it shouldn't matter, bro. The nerfed glue gunner shouldn't be able to outlast. It shouldn't. My play style should win this game every time. Now, basically, I'll be... I won't start my rush till like, round 33, 34. But by that time, I will have hundreds of thousands of dollars or hundreds of helis. On, or the map flooded with helis, basically. So, like, there's no way we'll lose to a counter if he decides to counter. Plus, if he does decide to counter, he's not going to have money to defend on his own. So if I just defend the counter, I win. He's about to die. 
Just Maelstrom, bro. It's not that hard. Okay, Asian Ambition's chilling. What are RBIs at? 7K? Both at 7K? Okay. Now, notice how I cast this out and got this up at the same time, right? Hold on. Can we defend this? Thank you. Okay. So, we're going to need another... We'll need, like, an Ice Shards around 28 or something like that. Yeah, look up the Shards. But, yeah, I want to see how fast these Phillips compare. He's got the glue hose. But yeah, basically, we just take this late. I mean, it's the safest way to win this game. And when you're going for a win streak, this is how you got to play it, man. It's the Swift special is what it is. This is exactly how Swift would play against an eco player. He actually maybe only go for one BIA. I don't know. But this is how he would play it other than that. Without the minor hiccups that I've been encountering. Okay. 15K. I'll cash this one out, actually. All right, I'm going to get a shards going. Placement will be... This is fine right here. All right. He actually isn't really ecoing much. He's getting ready. He should be max ecoing. Okay, there he goes. Maybe he's just getting ready for Moabs. I don't know. I'll cash that one out at the end of the round. We have 1,600 eco. I mean, I could just sell them now. I'll probably sell this one, yeah. And then when the other one fills up, I'll sell it. We're gonna sell, cash that out, okay. I might get up an Arctic Wind to be safe. I am. I The last thing I wanna do is die to some stupid thing. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, screw it, I'm cashing that out as well. I don't care. And now let's go to 1800 Eco since we like our even numbers. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so our farms are good. Our eco is insane, considering we, we're farming. Now we just farm, farm, farm for a while. And like I said, we'll start our rush like around 35-ish. But we'll have a bunch of defense on our side by then. Now, the ice shard spots are really freaking good against the scent path on this map. Since it goes around this middle bend twice, that just makes the ice shard so good. So I'm feeling really confident. And another thing, you can fit so many helis on this map. So it makes helis so good. So that just makes heli farm ice one of the best strats on this map. So I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all. The hard part's over. The hard part was making it to late game with good farms and being alive. That was the hard part. That part's over. Now it's the easy part. Just use my farming skills and just chill. Easy. Okay, let's get up some of these. Round 32 is coming up. We have an Arctic wind, so we won't suffer at all. I'm just going to get up some of these. We have an absolute insane amount of facilities already. He's getting ready. He's got his goon liquefier. I just call it a goon liquefier. I guess we'll call it a goon liquefier for now. But yeah, there's no way he rushes us anytime soon, so this is fine. And if he does, I mean, we can sell each facility for, like, 23k, or 20k. So, like, hey, no problem. So now is when I start to get up some defense. Since we have our farm set, now we just get ready for the counter. If it is to occur. Like, he might not even counter, he might just go down to the rush. Or if he defends the rush, we still have all our farms. Or we'll still have a lot of money. But there's no way he's even defending past round 37. So I, I want to say that's a lock. There's zero chance he defends past round, like, into the, if he defends into the round 40s, he's hacking. It's literally the only thing. So I'm not worried. I'm just going to get my heli army going now since we have our ice shard gang. Now I actually, let's move this. I do want an ice shards right here. And we do want an arctic wind. Actually, here's fine for an arctic wind. It's not at the very end of the scent path, but it's fine. Okay. And yeah, look at us, dude. Vibing. So now I'm going to save up for a rush. Once I get this one up to an Apache, we're saving up for our rush. And then once I get to over 100k, we'll start the rush. That's the plan, man. Because each freaking facility is giving us, what, 5,400? Is it is there six crates or seven crates? I think six. If it's seven, then, wow. 
But yeah, we'll save up to probably 150k and then we'll rush. So that's 15 Zoma Gods without getting any more money from our farms. So it'll just keep building on that. So we'll be able to get up defense to defend anyways. So I'm feeling great about this. We both have similar stalls because the glue is nerfed to its um, balanced state. So it doesn't slow more than the ice slows. Now, people don't even think Heli Farm Ice is vi viable anymore, but it's very much so is. It's crazy. I thought it died for a little bit as well, but it's definitely possible. So he's still ecoing, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. Do you think you're going to go to round 50? Like, why would you be ecoing? That makes zero sense to me. Absolutely zero sense to me. Like, I, I just, someone explained to me why he's ecoing at round 35. Okay, we're going to start our rush. We're going to bloom boost as well. See if he counters. He won't counter. He's been max equaling for the past few rounds, hasn't he? So why would he rush? Just lose out eco for nothing. All right. No counter, so he's dying. Like, I don't think he knows how... Yeah, he's dying. Like, he's better off going Heli Ice Village than he is Tat Glue Village. See, look how far they're already pushing. No counter. He needs to counter. Like, look. Look at his side, man. So if you're him, why would you not counter? Look at his screen. Why would you not counter? Oh my, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like someone explained to me, if you see 4,000 oh my gods on your screen, why is your instinct to try to defend? <laughs> you're not? <laughs> Look at his screen. <laughs> oh, don't worry, tower boost will save me. Oh, we got the tower boost saving me, man. Oh, I'm dying. Look at, you can't even see the map. You can't even see the map, bro. But he's still trying to defend. You can't even see the map. Oh, I still have all my farms, by the way. We can sell those for like 500k and get up helis. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't get it. Imagine try to, trying to defend that. GG's. He just leaked. Okay, he's using all his tower boosts. I haven't even... Continued my rush because I thought he was just dead, which he is, but GG's. GG's, man. There it is. Okay, no counter for some reason, but GG's. This is episode two, boys. I'm going to keep it going, even though we're at 30 minutes. Paradox DFA. Moon landing. I might probably aggressive tack here. Yeah, we're going to do it. Get ready. I don't know how good this guy is, but he might be going DFA based off his name. I don't know. We're gonna spike the beginning. He's gonna thumbs down immediately. Wait for it, three, two, one, thumbs down. No, okay. Is he going Cobra or what? Or he is going DFA, I don't know. I mean, you can go DFA on this map. It's not that good, but it's no Wiz Ice. It's no Wiz Village, you know? Okay. We're gonna send you this, man. I'm actually gonna anti-stall that as well. I'm just anti-stalling this round. He's just going Wiz Village, I think. Now I'm just making these rounds fly by while at the same time farming. That's why I'm using my spikes like that. Just these early rounds to make it so he can't really afford that lightning as easily. Okay. All right. So yep, aggressive Wiz Tack. Let's go. Is he gonna, he needs to wait till the one minute mark to afford his lightning, I believe. No, he went for a fireball, I think. Yeah, he's not even gonna be able to afford it for another few seconds. He's going to spike those, okay. Or two. He's definitely going Wiz Village. Without a doubt. He's leaking so much. Is this the power of the anti-stall, folks? I think it is. And guess what? We're about to out-farm. And, okay, never mind. We're not out-farming. He actually grew a brain and is rushing me. Mad cause bad. Mad cause bad. Mad cause bad. Mad cuz bad. Mad cuz bad. You can send the anger emote all you want. It's not going to change that you're bad. Not toxic. All right. So we're just going to send him constant blacks. He might be able to solo this, but I mean, we're playing aggressive tack, so it's fine if he does. We're getting eco out of it. So that's fine. I just want to chip away at his live count, and it's working. It's working. We'll be fine until round 10 with our current defense. That's how good tack is on this map. That's why I wanted to bring it this game. Let's get up a farm. Titan farms, but I have 50 more eco than him, at least. And, uh, yeah. 
And he's going to need more defense round eight for region yellows or whites, excuse me. He leaking, leaking. He definitely has village though. That's why he placed that farm a little higher up so he can fit a village underneath it. So this is good. It's good to run into his loadout because um, aggressive wisp farm attack should drain him successfully in game. So that's the plan, man. All right. We're out farming. You went for two lightnings? No way. Not the play, my guy. It's fine, though. So I actually haven't even upgraded. Yeah, now we need to upgrade that left side. So uh, these yellows won't do anything. We're fine. We're going to farm on. We actually have a nice farm lead. And I haven't even been that aggro. But we have got him to leak 83 lives. So that's Gucci. I'm not going to go for round 11 rush if he has two lightnings. We'll go round 13 rush, though. For show. We're out the whole plantation. He's not sending me leads. There's the Wiz Village. Now we're going to go for round 11 rush if he's going to greed like that. Holy. Let's get this guy going. Dude, he's just selling all his farms. He's so mad because he's bad. He's literally just mad because he's choking. Choke Lord. All right. Watch him just all out me or something. That'd be funny. Okay, if he doesn't even have lightning on that, so we're going to rush that 1,000%. Not even going to balloon boost. We're just going to rush it and hopefully get a boost out of him, and then we can go for a huge secondary rush. Okay, he's playing so safe. Look at him. I'm just going to eco out of that. Those are mostly eco balloons. We're draining him, though. Like, since he only has one plantation, the reason I know we basically have this in the bag, as long as he doesn't catch us off guard with a huge rush, is because he's going to not have money to get two phoenixes round 20 and defend without draining himself. Like, he needs to have a BIA round 15 or 16 to have a chance of beating me, since I can greed so much with this early game that I, I'm just going to be able to drain him. So likely the situation is going to be me just draining him round 20 with a BFB. That's likely going to be what happens. He's trying to catch up in farms, but he just keeps having to sell them because I'm just aggroing. He needs to keep defense and not sell rebuy because that's just burning his money since you only get 80% of what you bought it for when you sell it. So that's the reason I have five plantations and a huge eco lead. All right. So that's kind of that. We're going to get up a farm here in a sec. And it's, it's kind of hidden. We have a hidden Republic in that top right corner. Equivalent of six plantations, roughly. He has three and a half. And we have a nice eco lead. So nothing we can't do right now. There's no way we don't drain him round 20. I just want to say that right now. Because he can't pull out freaking Cobra fourth and misdirect it back at me. Like, that's not going to happen. So once I have about 7K up, saved up, I'll go for my facility. Oh, about 6k actually we'll go at 6k all right turtle micro but it's fine i'm fine boosting if we have to boost that's fine i would love to see it if you went for his farm i would love to see it because he has to sell it around 20 100 okay i'm gonna sell that so he can't tell when i got it up to 4-2 actually he has no idea okay now, if y'all last around 20 and he sends camos in there, we have to micro and sell our farm. But if there's not camos in there, we should just get away with male shaman. Toss him to see ya. He's been saving up for a while over there. We'll send him that. We'll get this up. Now, let's burn a balloon boost. He's going to rush me, actually. Not something I saw coming our way. All right. We get to have some fun in micro, boys. Okay, we actually need to sell our farm. I didn't think he was actually going to send it, send it. All right, I actually sold the wrong thing right there. So if he sends camels over the top, it'd be very effective. We just need one more maelstrom and we're chilling. There we go. All right. So what did I say, boys? He sold all his farms and now he's drained. Whereas I still have so much money. And we're, we're going to do is send him another one. Sell that, actually. He's going to send me one. I'm just going to boost this, and we're going to balloon boost one at him. Because I don't want to sell as much. It's kind of the only reasoning. There we go. That's all we need. Um, JK, we need one more. That's fine, though. So he has no farms. We still have about four plantations. We have AI in this round, but 
Our Maelstrom should come back in time. Okay, he's gonna all out camel rush me. Um, boost, 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 boost. Okay. I couldn't tell what was happening there. I think we would have defended because I had my boost in two seconds, but. Anyways, GG's Paradox put up a good fight at the end. Doesn't get much better than this. Let's get it. Here we go. We got chilling. Probably the word I say most in my videos, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie is up there as well, though. Okay, we have cards. This is actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go Dark Farm Wiz here. He might go NFE. And if that's the case, we just gotta play aggro and we should be fine. But we'll have to find out, see what he ends up bringing. The win streak is on the line. Industrial zone. I'm okay playing industrial zone. I'm feeling pretty confident on this map for some reason. So we're gonna bring the good old Dartle Ting, the banana farmer, and the Boomador. Let's go. Good luck, have fun. This guy's got 25 mil medallions, and he's not in a clan. So he's a, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He doesn't rely on those black sand medallions like some of you noobs out there. Not toxic. All right. So I'm going to actually start off with my farm unless he anti-stalls. If he starts anti-stalling, I'm going to anti-stall as well. Or at least, yeah, okay, he's going to do that, so I'll get my darling. If you're going to be like that, we could have both got our banana farm up, but it's fine. Unless he's going Cobra. Cobra's viable on this map with darling Boomer. It really is. Okay, so we're going to go to about 262 eco. And then we're going to get up our... Actually, 264. Wait, no, that's fine. That's fine. He went straight for his powerful darts. He didn't really rush me. I'm going to try greeting this out. Hopefully, he stops sending. Okay, he ain't going to stop sending, eh? I could have just greeted that and went for my farm. We wouldn't have even leaked that much. I should have. Bot station over here, boys. So, we're going to go for our farm now. A little late, but we are going to get it up. There we go. I'm just going to move that over there. Yeah. So we got our farm before him, because he sent a lot of red balloons at us. So we should get a few more bananas than him here. We'll get that up. We definitely both have Boomer as our third. That's like a guarantee. It's like the only Darling strat people go on this map. In Powers, you can get away with other Darling strats with Super Eco Boost and everything. You just have so much more money at your disposal. Even with Eco Choke, like, you're fine. Because Super Eco Boost is an OP, boys. You get so much Ecos. You can pull off things like Darling Glue. As long as you got, like, a track power and damage boost, you're fine. Because that's technically, like, six boosts. <laughs> So you, sh you should be fine if you go Darling Glue on this map in Powers. Unless you run into a really annoying Power Loadout, but other than that, it's fine. Okay. We're going to send him just Constant Blacks. He's going to start with a Green Rush here. Followed by Blacks. Now, that's not really going to do much because... Actually, it did kind of a lot. Never mind. I'm going to go for my second Darling, though. He's probably going to do the same here. Dude, we're leaking. Stop leaking, man. You bat. So we're going to send that. He's going to keep sending. I'm just going to follow it up with just straight blacks. This will force D. Or a boost. He might just try to greed and boost here. Let's see if... No, nope, he's going to go for a second Dartle Ting. Okay. I'm going to save it for my farm now. I'll leave him alone. Now, look at that beautiful... I love that. That's such a nice thing that I can actually um, control my farms without moving my Dartling targeting. That's like my favorite thing that I've learned. Big brain plays, baby. So he's going to rush here. I'm going to boost if it's a huge rush. That was a tiny rush. Okay, we're fine. Uh, we're going to boost. We're going to boost that. Now, I guess we're just going to trade boosts here. We'll see. Yeah, he's just going to boost that. So now if he re-rushes, we just get up a Bionic and we're fine. So no rush from this fella yet. No secondary. And he's also going to pull out the Boomador. As expected. Greedy play. Going for my farm. Very greedy heavy. Greed heavy play right there. Okay. He's going to rush here. I'm going to put this on last for now, actually. That was a nice little aim at that those lead balloons right there. Okay, I'm going to go for a rush right here. Might get him to sell his farm here. That was not nearly a big enough rush. I mean, he leaked a lot, and he burned spikes. I'm fine with that. I'm going to burn my spikes as well. We'll save one. Okay, I'm going to go for this for camo leads. Put this on first now. I'm going to get this up to powerful darts as well. We don't really want to boost to a ton. Or I only want to boost to a big rush. I don't want to boost to some tiny tease rush. 
So that's why I'm playing this somewhat cautiously. Okay, we're gonna boost this at him. This will cause panic on his side. Yeah, there's just a boost. Okay, so he just used a boost. That's his second boost used. We have a, kind of a high eco. It's a little bit of some aggressive gameplay. Okay. Well, we're gonna try to force a turbo here. So I'm gonna follow it up. And I love the Darling Lich, man. Nothing better. Okay. So we're gonna send that. That should force a turbo. Wow, he already had that on speed dial. Nice. Okay. Get ready for, we're gonna follow this up. I'm gonna get the Bionic up right now. Ceramic coming. Easy reads, chat. You see that big brain play? See that big brain play? Another one, we're fine against it though. Yeah. He's out of boosts. We have two boosts. He's out of boosts. So let's just go ahead. Oh, he's gonna balloon boost here. I'm just gonna use this. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I thought I was about to die. We're fine. He has no boosts, bro. Like. He has no boost. He's gonna need two turbos, I think. Uh, nope, he's fine. Okay. Well played, sir. I'm gonna boost any rush he sends. We're gonna. Oh, he has a. We'll send him a Moab. He's not defending a Moab without boost and selling everything. He's probably just gonna all out me here. Let's get ready. Get ready for the all out, folks. I'm gonna sell this farm, actually. And we're just gonna boost. Yep. Just gonna boost that immediately. And we need to get up the turbo. Perfect. He defended without boost. Nice. All right. I'm going to send him another one. We need to rebuy this. And we're going to all out ceramics. I don't think he defends. There's zero chance he defends this without boost. Zero chance. So this should be a GG. Should be a GG. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Let's go. GG's. GG's. So I think the reason we won that is we were boost conservative there. Let's, let's go. We conserved our boosts. 10 win streak. Let's go. Keeping it up, boys. Hit that double digits. We're going to keep on going. Yes, sir. -ski. Yes, sir. -ski. Let's freaking go, bro. Let's freaking go. All right, we got Shiny Gami. I'm gonna go micro loadout on this map. Probably Wiz Farm Tack, whatever map we get. Um, honestly, let's see. I don't really want to go Tack. I want to go something fun on this map, but I don't know what though. Let's just try. To, I love this map, I really do, but I want to go something fun, and I feel like Wiz Farm Tack is just hard to pull off on that map. Not on this map though. Good luck, have fun. We're gonna play aggressive Tack. Get ready, man. We are going to... Tr I'm going to try something out. I'm going to try a tack spot that I don't think I've ever used. And it might be absolutely horrible and I might rage because of it. But, you know, you don't know if you don't try. So good luck, have fun to Shinigami. He is in the Instant Clan. He's been 10,000 on the Prestige leaderboard. What an alpha. What an alpha. All right. Good luck, have fun. So we're going to anti-stall right after the rip. We'll get down our farmer. Show him that we're farming. I'm out anti-stalling because I'm ecoing. So you don't have to worry about that, chief. Boom, boom, boom. Nice little micro right there. Okay, okay. So yeah, we'll go for our farm and then we're gonna anti-stall rounds one and two. If he's going heli farm, that would be absolutely amazing because we would be able to get so many lives on him early. We'll see, we'll see. So I'm actually going to... I wanna anti-stall that as well. Uh, can I place this? There we go. All right, so we're trying to end these rounds quick. We're trying to end these rounds quick. And we're going to start layering a little bit. Just the first two rounds, though. See, look, this is perfect. This is exactly why I did it. Because now if he's going whiz, he's going to leak a ton before he gets up his lightning. Like, he's already down 60 lives. This is big brain plays, folks. And all I had to do was really burn a spike. That's it. So we're going to go for a balloon boosted pink rush, actually. Because he's not affording that lightning. Since he already bought the fireball, he's not going to have much money saved up. Like, I don't even have my 1-0 farm yet, but he's going to die. He's literally going to die to this. <laughs> So we're going to see how... Oh my... He's literally going to die? This tax spot's kind of nice, chat. It's kind of nice. I'm just going to full Q pink. So if we can get like two lives on him, that's fine with me. Because I'm playing aggro attack anyway. So ain't a big deal. Okay, this tax spot can handle until round six, I think. Unless he sent a ton of blues and pinks at me, but he's not. Okay, he's no lives lost now. So we're going to... Oh, he's actually getting up another... 
Another Wiz Dog over there. We're going to get up our Blade Shooter. I feel like this Blade Shooter spot's good. I mean, no struggle against regions, obviously, but we're not even going to really have it for regions. We're going to have our Dragon's Breath for region stuff. So we're about to take the farm lead. We have more eco. We have 116 lives on him already. We are going to rush him with the blacks on round seven. So that's what I'm going to do. Should blend with the AI. He's going to go first. He wants to go first farm right now. I'd bet money he's at like 1400 and wants to get his plantation up. But instead, he just went for a second lightning. So now we're not even going to rush him at all because he's fine till round 11 at least. And even then, it'd be hard to chip away at his life count. So he's playing extra safe now. He's putting spikes at the end. He's preparing for the worst. We're fine. As long as he doesn't send region whites, we're fine. And even if he does send region whites, I want to see how we handle before I even react and get up defense or anything. But we got... Okay, he actually sold his lightning. This is going to be a boost. thousand percent. You're boosting. Toss him to see ya. Oh, he, did he sell a farm? Oh, he boosted. Okay. You got a boost out of Shini over here. Shini's fumbling the bag. Mr. Shini Gami. Should be working on his origami instead of choking these games to the big sensation. Ooh, he needs some persuasion. Sensei's getting rushed by yellows. That ain't nothing. I'm sipping on that mellow yellow. This shit's light work. Ooh. Come on, give me money, 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 money. There we go. Okay, he's going. He's like all outing me. He's literally... This is literally an all-out. I'm leaking. He literally just like all-outed. What the frick, chat? Okay. Now things just got interesting. Things just... Okay. Things just got really interesting. All right. We're going to go straight for the Dragon's Breath. If he all-outs, we sell everything. We have to counter immediately. So if he sells one of those, I'm immediately sending rainbows. And then they're going to push through first. Rush me. He leaves, bro. Bro, you know, he just clicked the home button. He's sitting there thinking for like 20 seconds. Like, hmm, I wonder how I can take down the sensation here. I have 20 seconds before I DC. I wonder what we can do here. Shinigami, what do we think, sir? That's probably what he's thinking. He's thinking about himself in the third person. Now he's about to leave. That's unlucky. McDonald's Wi-Fi. He's gone. Okay, but what was going to happen is he has no money saved up, right? He was going to sell one of those wizards, send it all, camera rush at me. And then I would have immediately bloom boosted regular rainbows, maelstromed his rush, or gotten up with Summon Whirlwind. And we would have been defended, so... That's that. We could actually have afforded a Tempest, potentially. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, because we had a 2-3 whiz, not a 0-3. All right, well, we, we'll take the win against Shinigami. 11 win streak. Okay, how far are we? 12, 40 plus 37, so we're at like 50 minutes. So I got 10 more minutes before we're at two hours. <laughs> If you count last episode, holy, dude, I, this is like the most BTD I've played in a while. I Honestly, I could switch to R3 speed. I could. If we make it to the hour mark on this episode, I'm going to do R3 speed for the next hour. If I can even make it an hour, because that'd be like 20 more games, because R3 speed games are super quick. Oh my god. If this is the real one, we're in for a treat. If this is the real Mario, he is one of the best players. I think it's a dupe, though. I think it's a dupe. We're going to... Either way, I have to sweat super hard to win this game. So what are we going to bring? I might bring Cobra here. Do I bring Cobra? Let me think. I got to think this one through. Thoughts, chat. Thoughts. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Good luck. Have fun. We're bringing the Cobra. The good old bomb tower. This is my sweaty tryhard. It's either this or DFA that I was going to go. Or aggressive whiz tack, but... Okay. He's starting with a dart. So this isn't the real Marlo. The real... Or Mario. The real one would have... Got his farm up first. Let's be honest. Unless he's just weird like that. I don't know. But if this is the real... If he doesn't use farmers, it might be the real one. Okay. Either way, we're going to try our hardest to actually win this game. So we're going to go to 259 eco. Okay, save up four, or 261, excuse me. Save up four hour. Never mind, he sent like nothing. Okay, so we're fine. I'm easily not getting up my cannon now. I'm just gonna go for another one of these. And I think we'll get this up by 48 seconds game time. Perfect, we got three of them before the next round. Three wired funds, that is. Love to see it. So now he's gonna rush me. We're just gonna space eco then so I can save up for my cannon. If he wants to be like that, bro. There's no way this is the real one. I think this is a dupe account. So he basically copied Mario's account to, and just is using it at his own will, I guess. Put this on close. 
we'll get this up to a frag bombs for round four. If he aggros, that is. If he just sends pinks, I'm not really gonna react that much. Okay, yeah, he's gonna aggro. So we're gonna get up the frag. Now, can the frag solo? That's a good question. I think it can in this spot. Yeah, I'm not getting up defense. <laughs> I ain't getting up defense. So we're just gonna layer here. Yeah, this is not the real one. The real one would be playing way better than this. No offense to this guy. Like, he's playing fine. It's just I know it's not a top five DFA player all time. So we're fine. Actually, I don't know if he's top five, but he's top 10 for sure. I don't know. All time? There's a lot of people. Either way, we're just gonna eco on. He still doesn't have his plan. Okay, he just got his plantation. He'll probably, if he's smart, he goes for Spolt now. Yep, he is. Okay. He's going straight for the Spolt ski because he knows round six is up. He's going to get that up. Our eco's fine. I'll probably go to about 550 early game and then uh, we'll start our balloon adjustment tactics. So that's kind of the plan. So we're just going to eco on. He's not sending me anything. He could, if he sent blacks, he would force me to get up a cluster, but. He's playing really passive over there. This is, this is exactly how I want to play against someone. They just leave me alone, let me do my own thing with Cobras, and we're chilling. That's awesome with me. And that ain't no problem. So we're just going to keep on going on. Go to about 550, as mentioned earlier, aforementioned. And yeah, we'll get up a cluster if we need to. I mean, our wired funds plus one eco boost will afford a cluster, like right now. See, that's why. Perfect timing. We'll go with, ah, change my mind. I'm going to go 600 eco. 600 just seems so much higher than 500 to me. I don't know why. <laughs> so we're going to go to 600 eco. Actually, so this will actually be an effective round nine rush. If I can time this correctly. This will be really effective. So we're going to balloon boost this. This will be super effective, actually. So let's see what he does. I just went eco heavy, boys. But it's fine. Like... I know how to play if I have a high eco with Cobra. Like, both ways work. Is he going to bring out Wiz or is he going to have Ace? We're going to find out because I'm going to send him some leads. Now, he's not sending me region leads, which is good. Our eco is so high and we still have six wired funds. Like, we basically have 4k in reserves in these Cobras if we need. That's the power of Cobra, boys. We love the Cobra on this channel. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get up our submerge and support. I'm not going to go for a reactor if I don't need to. But if I see him send a decent size rush, we sell a cluster and two wired funds and we can afford a reactor. If he all outs, we have to sell Cobras, get up a reactor and a cluster together. We'll solo, so I don't need to worry about that. Plus, I can boost if we need to, but he's not just going to randomly all out. Okay, we're going to go for a small rush here. I'm playing aggressive now. I'm playing aggressive Cobra. Very aggressive Cobra. So we're going to send him this. We'll see what he does. We just got a lot of money from our Cobras. He's spiking. Okay, the Spolt Spam worked, but we did um, force quite a bit of defense. I'm surprised he went for Republic, of all things, by the way, instead of going for another plantation. It's a little strange to me. Our eco's so high. He's going for another Republic. What a weirdo. Okay, he's going for the SJB Republic Spam, I suppose. Well, I'm still going to adjust him around 16, I think. If he's not going to rush me around 16, I'm going to adjust the crap out of him. Because he's not forcing a reactor, so I have all this money at my disposal to just balloon adjustment him. So we're going to get a boost out of him 1,000%. No matter how many spolts you have, you're still boosting. Or you're dead. Okay, GG's. No, he got the boost off. Okay. See, that's what I mean by he's just playing into my hands right now. Playing into my plot. Now, a move, honestly, would have been to offensive push him right now and send him a Moab, but I'll let him be for now. Even though we are kind of tryharding, but let's go to a nice crisp 800 eco. Okay. I will send him a... I'm not going to send him a Moab. I'll just adjust him like crazy instead. That works with me. Okay. I'm just going to send him space eco. Kind of throw off his targeting. If he sends a Moab, we just triple spike it, get up our reactor, and we're good. Should be good, at least. I'm going to get up a uh, air burst, at the start of an air burst in, in case, though. Okay, the balloon adjustment's working well. Ah, uh, this is the fake. Oh my gosh. It's a fake Mario. Okay, I'm going to hide a misdirection up here. 
and hopefully he sends something our way. We're gonna get this up just earlier. So we have it ready to go around 20. So sure if he, his farms are just too bad. So like, oh God, I need to get that up. So even if he does defend like adjustments, his farms are too bad. Like sub bomb can go kind of late, bro. And if you don't have good farms, you're just gonna drain, get drained by the big sensei. That's just gonna be what happens. So we have a misdirection in case he sends a mo or a BFB or a Moab. Honestly, I'll, I'll misdirect a Moab. I don't care. I'm just waiting for him to all out me. <laughs> Face <bomb. laughs> See ya, buddy. Yes, yes, yeah. See ya. See ya. See ya. We'll toss in the see ya. That's awesome. I'm actually going to sell this so we can adjust him even more. Because I don't think he'll send another BFB. He's just going to assume I... Look at this drainage, boys. He's only got one Republic. And we have a thousand eco, basically. So I'm going to eco to a thousand. There we go. I'm just waiting for the all out. I really am. He's just... He needs an ODS instead of fan club spam. Just get up an ODS. An Operation Dark Storm. Unless he has like Super Monkey 4th. He might have Super Monkey 4th or something. Or 3rd, excuse me. Here comes the Rush. Okay. Can I place this, man? There we go. Alright. Well, that was a weird rush. I honestly panicked way more than I should have there. But we're fine. We're gonna rush him here. Is he gonna all out or what? There you go. Well done. You about dang time you got that up. About dang time. All right, let's force a fan club. Because this barely hurts our eco, so I'm completely fine doing this. Um, we're gonna make an L here. Not toxic. All right, put these all on strong. He sold the ODS. He is drained. He's got like 150 eco too, so we have a thousand eco. I think that's GG's. He's leaking even. He's all outing. Yes, give me some content, baby. Give me some content. Give me some content. Watch this, boys. See ya. All right, we were fine against that. I was just gonna boost again, but just having fun with it. I hope. Okay, guys, I honestly was mistaken. I was looking at the wrong video earlier, so I thought we were at an hour of the gameplay, but we're only at like 48-ish minutes right now, I think. So we're going to finish off this episode with some R3 speed and go from there. So we should be able to get up like three games or so of this before the hour hits. So let's get it. We have Team Tower Stun, bro. Disgusting. Range boost and long tower boost. I'm gonna skip that because that's I don't like that loadout. It's gonna be a camo heavy. We have hot tub, <laughs> dartling ice village, bro. Okay, space station. Let's go. Asian space station coming in clutch. Let's get it. Imagine I lose right first game in R3 speed. That would not be fun. Okay, I'm gonna get up. Let's get up a whiz here. Starts upgrade that to a lightning. We're going to balloon boost some pinks at him on this next round. I'll pr I did not mean to send that many blues, bro. Oh my God. I didn't mean to send that many blues, bro. I didn't mean to send that many blues, bro. Oh my God. Boost, 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 boost. Look at that range. That's so weird to me. Okay. He just boosted. The range boost is horrible, man. I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die, all because of a misclick, all because of a misclick, all because of a misclick, oh my god, literally misclicking blues is gonna kill me here. Okay, I need to clutch the fuck up. We need to clutch TF up. We're dead. 